hello guys welcome to today's video tutorial on today's sunday so uh every sunday saturdays i'll be making videos for mostly questions that are being asked on by my subscribers either below the comments or they sent me a private message so um if you want to send me a private message just go to my facebook page or instagram page and send me a message and i'll be able to revert to that but then if it's a question that was asked on the comment section and if it's not something i'll answer easily i'll make i'm going to make a video about it just like this one so um there is a question about um how i actually did this on mobile and somebody is asking of how to do it on a laptop so um the reason why the person is asking how to do it on a laptop is because um there is no way to do this on the facebook messenger because on this particular video i I took a picture, I uploaded it, I edited it, and then I drew a line and also added an emoji sticker on it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on a laptop. So if you notice from our messenger option, if you normally how this works on the mobile version is when you try to upload an image, for instance, I want to upload this image and then edit it and then I'll click open. Once I click open, I'll be able to see an option to edit the image right here. But that option is not included on the desktop version. And even though I try to access it from this other option, it's still not available. If I try to access it from normal chart here, I won't see, see that option. So it's still like click or choose your image and then upload. It just uploads direct. It doesn't give you an option to edit and all this kind of stuff like on the mobile version. So in order to go about this, the reason why this is not available on the desktop version is because desktop has, uh, I mean, your PC has a lot of graphic software and vector software that you can use to edit your image to make it fit what you want. So they actually remove this option on laptop because there is no need since laptop already have so many graphic software and um it's not everybody that will be able to make use of that because you probably have to learn graphics before you be able to do all those kind of stuff but i'm making this video to make it quick for you even though you don't know how to do much of a graphics so there is a particular microsoft tool that you can find on every micro microsoft laptop and you can find it on windows 10 and you can also find it on windows 7 it's called microsoft paint mostly every microsoft um, laptop has it so you can see it's called paint when you click on it it opens you can quickly do a quick edit on this place and then go go around and go with it so um if you have an image you want to upload to a friend and you just want to draw something very quick let me see um from my pictures area i have this image and i want to draw something on it to indicate to my friend that this is actually what i want and they will understand what i'm saying so maybe i want to draw a line on this particular image right here right on this circle area and tell them hey this is what i mean by what i'm saying so maybe this is our image i want to draw a line in it you can make use of this um pencil tool to just draw over that particular image but i prefer to use the one that is called brushes tool so i use this brushes tool to draw an image around it so select the brushes tool and on default this color is going to be selected which is actually our black color but i'm going to choose this um yellow color to draw around it and you can change the size of your drawing this is the default size actually if you want it to be a bit um thinner you can select this if you want it to be thicker you can select three or you select five if you want but i think this is this fit actually what i want to do so i'm going to go around and draw it it might not be perfect actually but this is just for a tutorial purpose now my hand started shaking so i just drew this image and then in order for us to make it look clear for the person i'm going to draw this arrow pointing to what i just drew and very quick here and i can also write on it by selecting the test tool and um typing on it just click here and then see very quick and after typing you can control a to increase the size of what you just type you can see it's here and make it bold also just like um every other 
typing tool on your Windows or your PC. So type and edit and edit it. Uh, let me control Z because I made a mistake. Oh, come on. Go back to home. Control Z, Control Z. So um, once you're done, actually, I just Control Z to delete it because I think the because I increased the size, I needed to increase this one also so that it will come out very well. So I think I'm okay with this one. So once you're okay with that, just go ahead and save it by clicking on file savers and then click on images and then give it a name whichever name you want it to be and then click on save and then once this option displays click on ok so you can notice right here that our image has been saved you can see it right here so um one more thing i need to do guys if you want to open the image you can just um let me close this off and then go over to paint again open paint you can still open any image by clicking on open right here and then selecting the image from wherever you have it saved and it's going to open and just click on the zoom tool to zoom in right now zoom out click and uh, right click to zoom out zoom in click right click to zoom out so um once you are done there is another thing i want to show you guys real quick guys so if you want to add um an emoji image or any image on it um just make sure you add an image that is a png image not a jpeg image because um the difference is png will actually make it transparent and the gif image is actually going to make it come with whichever background it came with let me show you very quick so um i already downloaded several images, so you can download any image and have it on your laptop so let me open any image which i have on my laptop now um if you notice there is no import image right here right but there's actually a way to import the image it's actually called paste right here instead of having it as an import so where you have paste there is an option there is an arrow uh, option hold on guys before i import the image there is this option right here called um select tool if you are importing a transparent image make sure you have this transparent selection on if not if you import any image it's going to have it as a white background but because i'm importing a jpeg image i'm going to leave that right now so um where you see this paste actually this is where you have your option to paste an image but on other softwares is actually called an import so click on this paste the drop down on the paste i'm going to select that and then i'm going to choose this option to say select paste from what it actually means is import from wherever you have your image so i'm going to import an image I'm going to import a JPEG image first of all. I'm going to go to my download because I already have it downloaded. And then I'm going to import an image that is actually a, a JPEG image. I think it's this one. So you can see there is a background on this image and it's actually covered all of our background. For you to confirm that our image is still existing, just drag it down. You can see. You see it, right? So it's actually having our image. So this is definitely not what we want to achieve. So I'm going to control Z on this to bring back our default um, image. And I'm going to bring the original JPEG image. So I'm going to say paste from, select paste from. And then I think this is a JPEG image, which no, no, this is not a JPEG image, which I want. All right, guys. So the reason why I was making all those mistakes, actually, even me, actually skip my thoughts you can remember i said um when you hold on let me try to upload this image so i'm very positive these are actually the real image but you can notice this right it has a background on them but this is a png that doesn't have a background even when i previewed it there was no background and the reason i'm going to go back and undo undo again the reason why he's coming up with the background is because we didn't have this option selected the option that says transparency selection so i have to click on this first click on import from again and then select that same image the same image now you can see so all i need to do is scale it down scale it down to the exact size actually almost there all right so 
this is how i want the image to look like so if i'm going to send this image to somebody and the person is going to be okay with this image because it looks cute actually and then the reason why the image is coming with the background is because this one was actually selected so no matter what image or no matter what image type you're selecting it's actually going to come in with this particular option so all you needed to do is to just have this option selected and then it's going to look good and you can see if i try to import the next one which is this one is also going to come out cute so that's actually the reason why it wasn't um showing that way so i'm going to scale it and bring it down to proportion make sure you don't desert it that much and you guys can notice this image is being deserted is actually because they didn't save it with the right size of the image so if this image was saved with a very big size it's going to come out properly so guys this is actually how to edit an image and then upload it to your facebook messenger very quick but if i was going deep into the graphic part i would have been doing more on other graphic software if i actually made use of a vector software this image is not going to be looking deserted but i just want to make this very quick and very simple for anybody that is not a techie guy so this is just how to do it anyway and then um guys you can notice um usually i should just go over to save image and then save the image and it's going to be saved but you can notice this is getting very long compared to our previous long image so the reason is because um um we imported the image that is actually very big and bigger than the um default image so all we need to do right now is to use this selection tool and um make sure you still have your transparency selection active and then select your image where you have the images just select those area and then right click and cut so um next press new and don't save and go ahead and zoom out to be sure you have the right image and then click and paste and scale the image so this is all we need to do for this video so once you um, are done scaling the image to size file and save us and save as png or you save as jpeg actually save it as jpeg so that it will come out very well since we didn't edit this image so save it as jpeg and give it a name and make sure you have this um, location where you're saving it as as your right location so click on yes and go to the location where you have it saved and confirm if it's saved and it is saved so you can go ahead and send this image to your friends and that is all for this video guys please make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to leave a comment if you have any question or send it on my pm and see you guys soon on my next video peace